Hey guys, so this is another Weapon Awakening video, and this time around, we have some very, very powerful options. I gotta admit it, guys, it's really powerful options, both of them. And let's just start with Damon. I, right off the bat, I got this one at plus three. Luckily, I had a bunch of these weapons saved up from before, so I was hoping, get me Damon, get me Damon, and they gave me Damon, finally. Let's talk about Awakening plus one. Damon's skill is enhanced. No longer inflicts exhausted on allies when they cast skills. What? <laughs> when I read this, I was like, I can't be real. I, I, I don't understand. It. This can't be real. Uh, and then it inflicts this, uh, one stack of exhausted on one random enemy. So this means that the drawback from playing Damon is completely eliminated at this point. This means that one of your heroes uh, actually go off. They don't get exhausted at all they just go off and so one of your enemies is gonna get the exhausted so this is super big upgrade for him for sure in this situation because that means your enemies are just the ones that are gonna be sucked every single time very powerful stuff guys the plus two damon gaze a new passive increases damage dealt to shields by a hundred and fifty percent so this is actually pretty surprising to me really because the, the the thing is that i wasn't expecting them to focus on shields however the damage that this does to shields is no joke guys i've thrown this in an, to an enemy that has full shields and remember that shields cut damage by 50 percent but if you're doing 150 percent extra damage you're going to see that for sure the the difference in so so the shields is going to be a pseudo broken you could say um but yeah it's, it's always better to like break the shields and like shoot straight at them to make sure that you get one shot the enemy but if you for some reason gather a lot of shields that's a good that that's that's gonna definitely gonna destroy the shields for sure and the plus three demon skill is enhanced only removes six stacks of energy when casting the skill so this is going to be super relevant uh, specifically with stone damage that that's what I've noticed actually and the thing is that Damon is going to fill up his mana really slowly because he's a slow hero so at the, by the time you have him full mana you're, you're not gonna you know yeah yeah it's gonna take some time unless you actually uh, have an Elmis on your team and you're constantly filling up mana in that case yeah this is pretty broken because he's always going to at least at at 10 at 10 energize uh, he's always going to be shooting and that's a lot of freaking damage if you're using it on the attack since the plus one is not going to suck any any of, of these things you can actually uh, pair this guy uh, with uh, Idritha and pretty much any purple teams at this point because uh, yeah that, that's going to be super powerful the plus one like has me like psh, my mind is completely blown away but this one is going to be really relevant because imagine having like um seven stacks and then a few turns gonna be ten stacks and then you throw up a bunch of uh throw a bunch of uh stones that's that stone damage is going to be relevant usually stone damage in this game is not relevant but this damage is going to be relevant for sure so refinement the bonus you're gonna notice that you're gonna be doing more normal attack and that is stone damage attack in that situation so that's gonna help you out for sure very powerful stuff guys so since i already have this weapon at plus three i'm gonna go and attack right now so i can show you how th this guy moves check it out all right guys we're doing it um this time around i decided to do it like this specifically uh because this guy is going to give him shields and the uh, the dreaded 30 percent crit and 60 percent crit damage so that's the amount of the things that i really want to do here and my opponent does have um agony so i really need a, a team realm user so and yeah and by the way if you're asking why i'm not using elmist uh in my arena you can use elmist <laughs> so it's gonna be a little bit harder than usual elmist is a freaking amazing hero but yeah we, we need to do it guys for sure let's see man it, it is this is going to be tough maybe i should have just brought yeah maybe i should have brought this guy over here so this is going to be slower for sure but it is what it is, guys. This is a counter team. So let's see if we can uh, be able to counter this. Let's see here. Oh, Lord. Not easy. Not easy, guys. It's not going to be easy, got guys. But let's see what, what we're able to do here. Because Alia teams usually takes a long time to actually go off. So this guy, this gal is frozen. So let me remove the frozen here. That's going to be actually really relevant. So let's see here. Did we get the... No, we did not. Some enemies right here received the, the exhaust here. 
So we are able to activate this without any fear. So we are giving him here. So let's see. Da, 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 da. So this, so so probably the worst teams you can actually use. Um, uh, this guy is definitely going to be. Get this out first. Yeah, th this counter team is gonna be a problem. So let me see. Let me heal up here real quick. All right. So we're gonna wait a few turns, but first let me activate this because it is free after all. After all. So let's see. Done. Just a little bit more. We're gonna have to try to kill the alley. I try. But the thing is that the guy is going to have damage here. So it is a problem. Man, again? Uh, da, 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 da. Go. Alright. So we do need to do this. Man, without Elmis, this team is terrible, man. But, let's see. We do have enough. Yes, we do. Alright. Let's see how much damage we're able to do with specifically... Um, 13 stats and damage here to the entire enemy team. Let's see how hard we can hit here. Uh, wow, that is a lot of damage, guys, for sure. And we have 7 still there. So we're still able to... Let me see how high this guy is. Plus 5. So he may get stunned, so let me heal here first. Alright, we were able to, to weaken... This guy, let's see... 63. Yeah, we, we actually need a little bit more time to do this. Done. So at this point, we know that we're able to kill him. So we just have to make sure... Just have to make sure to... Okay, we'll be able to kill him that way then, I guess. That's pretty cool. There we go. So no more damage here. So that's actually really important when we're playing on uh, these types of teams. Let's see if we're able to survive a few more turns. Because we really need to heal as soon as possible. Man, I, I lost a lot of purples there. So I am going to... No, I'm not going to do that. Let me get some more shields before we actually die here. This is going to be serious if we die here. Alright. There we go. Now with these seals, we'll be able to do a lot more. Alright. Cleansing. Let's see. Do we have the 13 again? Yes, we do. That, that's the advantage of this, for sure. Alright. Should we try to kill... Um... Hmm. Oh, we have two its mana. I can confirm in a second. Uh, could we do one more turn? Let's see. With red, no. With blue. Man. Uh, let's see like this. Ah, I think. It, ah, we were able to do it. So, let's do it again. Powering up with this gal. Although we could actually f shoot first with uh, this gal here to guarantee. Because that's going to break the shields guarantee there. And then, let's see. And, boom. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Now we can actually kill this gal here. I know that, that um, I should should actually activate Idrita first and then activate the others. But I'm trying to, like, showcase more than anything Damon here. But, uh, so that's definitely the pro my priority here for sure. Well, well that fixed that. <laughs> uh, Artemis is so awesome, guys. Alrighty. Da, da, da. Just so, just like so. There we go. Sure, we can activate this. Boom. Crit damage and crit. Da, 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 da. 601 uh, damage. Uh, just from stones. That, that, and to a purple. That's pretty high, guys. So let's see. We are going to wait a few turns. Uh, going to be yellow here. I think we'll we'll have to actually try to to kill directly this gal here. This is going to be a problem, but I do need do need to activate my Valerie because she's going to dispel the damage transfer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. 
And we're gonna do it. Alright. As I said, I'm gonna activate first Idritha. See, the thing is that the the main main objective here is al always to try to break the shields first. Because shields, I mean, it cuts the damage to 50%. Alright, do we have the buff? Do we have? We do not. So we're gonna have to activate her first. This gal at plus five is freaking amazing. Will we able? Will we be able to kill this? Let's see, guys. I have no idea. Ah, uh, th that's a big fat no. Man, Mildred is so freaking beefy all the time, even at plus freaking two. Let's see now. Man, this this may take a while, guys. This may take a while. This may take a while. Alright. The good thing is that probably they already all them all these guys have four exhaust. So that's gonna lower their attack. Wait a minute. Ah, this is why she's so freaking beefy. He has nine freaking badges. Man, that is sick. Alright. Break shields. Let's see if we can slowly but surely, little by little, actually get her. And we'll be able to do that in a second. Alright, let's see. Boom. 3k and another one. So yeah, this is going to take a while, guys. Because it is purple and purple is, is going to be problematic. Especially when you have the nine freaking <laughs> gold badges there. But things are moving as they should. So we'll be able to do this, no problem. Da, 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 da. There is one thing that I've noticed uh, with... Uh, oh, is she, is she dead? Oh, again. Man. We have to do it quicker than that. Okay, we have a problem with the shield. So let's test the shield. Uh, how much she can break shields in this case. We already saw that Drita is not able to do that. But let's see how much damage she's able to pull through there. Uh, almost the whole shields, almost breaking shields. But remember, this purple and that gal is is freaking upgraded by a bunch of badges there. This may take a while, that's for sure. All right, we're gonna save this one. See if we can get. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do it now. Extra damage. And more here. So cleansing, break shields. Alright, now we're at... Let's see, do we have it? Yes, we do. This is the buff that we actually need here. And... Boom, 3k. And 2k. So, having two really hard-hitting heroes, it's it's pretty powerful. Having Adritha and also Damon. With 13 freaking stats every single time. Man. This Artemis. Alright, I think we'll be able to try to do something here. There we go, nice. You saw that she did 7k, nice. So now we can actually finish this gal off. So let's see. Will the damage from the shields actually be enough? Let's see. Lots of crit damage, because we're talking about 30, we're talking about 10, and, and 40 more. So that's 80% crit chance. Let's see, are we able to do it? Yes, and a lot more than I was expecting, see? Very powerful stuff, guys, for sure. 79... Yeah, that, that, the most damage done by him, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna... Wow. Colette showing off here. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I really I, I really want to upgrade my Colette to have uh, 9 badges. Because her buff at 9 badges is pretty amazing. I definitely want to see that in action. Oh, yeah, guys. All right. So, so let's talk about uh, the other hero now. All right, guys, so let's talk about Sigmund here. Sigmund, ever since he was released, he has been a monster of a hero. But in time, he has been doing less and less and less damage. However, that's about to change, guys, with this freaking awakening. Sigmund's uh, plus one. Sigmund's skill has been enhanced. The Sigmund's skill dispels all buffs from the target. So we finally got a freaking dispeller right off the bat. That is plus five. Oh my god! Because if you know, if you play this game and you're and you're playing red, you know that the spellers are really hard to get, and the ones that are really good that are five stars, you have to awaken them at plus freaking five. So, ugh. ugh. But now you just have to awaken this weapon just once, and you finally have a dispeller. 
in red guys so super powerful stuff guys this has been asked for for so long and we finally get it on this situation very nice awakening plus two sigmund gains a new passive when taking f a fatal blow cast skills immediately skills i want to see this in action because it said skills in plural so in other words um if if um if he gets a fatal blow would he attack three times I want to see that in action. I haven't really seen it, sadly. But if it does, that's pretty funny. <laughs> in that case. Recovers 50% of mass HP unaffected by reduced healing effects. And becomes immune to that for three turns. So pretty much he, gets, he becomes uh, he begins immune for three turns and activate his skill right off the bat in that, that situation. So very powerful stuff, guys. I, want to, I definitely want to see this in action. And the plus three. Sigmund skill has been enhanced. Increases Sigmund's skill damage by 50% for two turns when casting a skill. Stacking up to four freaking times. So pretty much they slap the plus five of um of gun off on this weapon. So that is freaking disgusting. We're talking about 200 freaking percent more skill damage. Oh. Mm. And remember that Sigmund... Uh, <laughs> Remember that Sigmund is able to go off many times, especially if he's plus 5. So he's going to get this 200% this damage dealt by far. So if you somehow raise his his uh, critical chance w using this w his weapon, it's going to give him 140% more critical damage on red, which is the, 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 pr it's the color that creates more critical chance with resin. So yeah, this, guy, this is really freaking powerful. I mean, the only reason why I did not get this weapon first at plus three is because I already had a bunch of weapons for Damon. So yeah, this is pretty freaking disgusting. However, there is one player that does have this weapon awaken and put him on defense. And on we defense, it didn't really work out for her. So in this case, I um you you if you want to put him on defense, you have to make sure you have to put him a team that target to single targets uh, like uh, Malfour for example that could be really freaking powerful we're talking about 200% more skill damage on a single target that, that is pretty exciting to me but on the attack for sure this is going to be absolutely crazy it's not even funny I mean yeah and if you Actually, a refined this weapon, you're gonna get nine percent more crit chance. So you probably you would want you would want to use him on with heroes on his own faction. So he actually gets that buff, that awesome buff for crit. So in other words, if you have uh, him and two more heroes, which in which in in this game you are able to do it really quickly, like Roland, Shelly, and him. And Sigmund uh, on that combination, you're gonna get 20% crit chance, plus the refinement of 29%. And Red's gonna get an additional. I think I don't remember it specifically. I think it's 20% more more crit chance. So that's 40% crit chance right off the bat. So that is pretty nice. And if you get the weapon that has 10% crit chance, you have a good probability of getting a crit. And you are hitting two times at least uh, two times per turn, and then you pass the turn in two more times and so forth so this this has me really excited i, I i'm right now trying to get this weapon a plus three uh, uh, that it that that's how it is guys so yeah very powerful stuff guys for sure so um if you're wondering which one of the two between sigmund and damon which one you should be focusing on you you really have to ask yourself uh what you actually want to do because if you have most of your reference in purple and you want to do a specific team around a hero, Damon is going to be that hero for sure. But do know, do know that you have, listen to me closely, you have to have Damon at plus five. Because at that point, he will be able to suck the, the exhaust from the enemy uh, and specifically. So that's going to make it a lot faster. Having this weapon in plus one is going to help, help you all a lot if you ha don't have him plus five. But you need to have him plus five to actually like make him go overdrive and have a big advantage against the enemy. A very big advantage. However, if you don't, if, if you don't want to have a hero that's just around that hero specifically, well, technically you can have... I mean, Sigmund is by himself a hero that you can work around him. 
well, I take that back. Sigmund is another hero that you can actually play around him for sure. So, yeah, I mean, any any one of the two is an amazing option in my opinion for sure. I really like Sigmund. I really like Damon. Damon, I, yeah, so yeah, uh, for sure. So I definitely want both of them. Uh, it's going to be costly, but I will get them both. I will get them both. So no matter which one you choose, yeah, whichever one of the two is really powerful option, guys, for sure. I highly recommend getting any of the two. So this time around, they made really good options. So there was one player that asked me a question. Because um, the thing is that one of my players uh, uh, used uh, Jane. Uh, where are you? Royal Guard. Jane. Her weapon at, at plus three. Uh, he was able to defeat his most powerful red red player in in his guild without any stacks and using Jane and a weird purple team ish team. So I'm going to explain that to you right now. I actually do have the recording on the war that we're running right now. So I'm going to explain to you why that actually happened. But focus on this ability. Jane Gates, a new passive when taking a fatal blow, recovers 50% of Matt's HP, losing the healing effect, and cast the skill immediately. That uh, takes an effect uh, one time per battle. So remember, this type of ability... The, the way that you counter Gillian is with damage here. And if if your, your weakest hero, which is Jane, by the way, is always going to be targeted by the damage here, and she dies and revives, that, that damage here is going to counter the, the lifelink from Gillian in that situation. That's how you actually counter Gillian. So I'm going to show you that right now, guys. All right, guys. So this is the fight. And the player that I was talking about is 70X. Uh, he always does these incredibly cool teams here. And uh, seeing this red team, it looks really powerful, but I'm not seeing a Gillian. So that's pro probably the, the reason this fight was so freaking long. But at the same time, since there, the thing is that this is the, the main reason why Jane is added here, because of no uh, the Gillian is going to be countered w with, um, with the damage here, as I already explained, uh, for, the, for her strong link. However, in this case, there's a lot going to be a lot of uh, multi-hits. So Jane, that's really where she shines. So that's where, where we're actually going to uh, see this in that situation. And this guy, obviously, uh, the enemy has, like, the best weapons, like, everywhere. This is the best weapon. This weapon. Although I although I really don't agree on this one. You could put the whip on, on her here, because she goes off on her own. But her weapon is really powerful in creating shields. See, to check out the, the, the multi-damage here. There you go. But the thing is that the multi-damage has to hit uh, the, the heroes here. Boom, boom, boom. See, see the healing there from Jane? That's the thing. So when Thor goes off, there's got to be a lot of healing going on here for sure. Boom, boom, boom. There's the healing again. Just a little bit more. Check that out. Look at all that healing. <clears throat> Since this is damage here and everybody's getting hit that situation, it's going to activate uh, her ability for healing the entire team. So this is one... One way to actually counter a team that has a lot of uh, multi-hit damage. Check this out. Yeah. So, but the thing is that the damage has to uh, hit the the actual life of the uh, of the um, the one that you're actually using there to actually activate that healing. So, if you're in other words, you're, if you're completely protected by shields, it's not going to activate the healing. There we go. And definitely, we're getting. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of stacks uh, from from Loki as well. So these guys are getting less and less shields. Let me see. Less attack. There, he, he is getting cleansed, but 43% less attack. That that's gonna that's gonna uh, sh lower the, the, the amount of damage that he's actually received there. That's for sure. Loki, Loki. A lot of people underestimate Loki. Loki does so many things. It's not even funny, guys. So see, see when when they cleanse here, <clears throat> all these guys, the that cleanse is gonna raise raise the the minus attack there in that situation. So yes, yeah, see, look, look at all that healing. Anything that that goes with the damage here is gonna be, and in other, in other words, it's Adora with her 100% attack. I mean, 100% defense. Additionally to that. That's the, the, the answer of the player that was asking how is it possible that Jane... Look at that. 
and with just straight up counter attack. Man, look at that. Probably that was reflect damage. Because uh, remember that uh, some heroes have um, reflect damage uh, from the badges. And knowing 70 Edge, he does have this gal. Uh, yeah, he, he does have full badges. And some of those badges are going to have reflect. That's probably what, what actually uh, uh, killed this hero over here. On this side on the left. Wow, this is a pretty exciting fight. Let's see. So that's pretty much it. That, that's the main answer here. But yeah, it, it, it is going to be a, a big fight. But the thing is that the main damage tier is going to be Artemis, so it's going to take a little bit of time here for sure. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Very cool. Alrighty. Alrighty. So the, the there's a advantage that the enemy has, and that's this, this with this, this hero over here, Freya. Freya is a is a really problematic hero when actually getting all these. But yeah, the yeah, Artemis is that's the main damage dealer in this team. Team is pretty crazy. Boom, boom, boom. So once. Once Freya dies, nobody's going to have shields in this team. That's for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter anyway now, right? So yeah, this is over. This is right off over. Because Thor is not able to survive versus a team like this, for sure. Look at that, man. Oh yeah. This is pretty exciting stuff, guys. Check, check this out. The healing, the damage, I mean, everywhere. But remember that um, Thor, at um, when he dies at plus 5, he's going to have 100% uh, more damage dealt. But that's all she wrote, guys. Check this out. Boom. So there's your answer, right, guys. guys. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, please leave it in the comments and we'll talk about it. All right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.